For this lesson, I'm working with 0303 Remove Clips From A Sequence. That's a project file you can find with the media associated with this lesson. Just double click on the project file to open it. A large part of video editing is not adding content, but removing it. You'll often find you have clips in a sequence you would like to remove. Let's look at some approaches to this. I've got a simple sequence with uh, four or five clips in it. And if I select this second clip, Kids Rolling a Tire, and hit the Delete key, Premiere Pro leaves a gap. And that might be what I want to do because I've decided I don't want that shot, but I do want to put something else in there and I don't want to move anything around. I'll just fill in the gap later on. I'm just going to undo that by pressing Control Z. That's Command Z on Mac OS. If I want to remove this clip and not leave a gap, I can select it as I have here by single clicking on it and I can hold the Shift key down while I press the Delete key. In this way, the Shift key is being used as a modifier key. And if you're familiar with using the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac OS with keys like A for selecting all or S for saving, then you'll be familiar with the principle. Hold the Shift key down while you press the Delete key and then release the Shift key. Now I'm going to undo again. And this time I'm going to select multiple clips in this sequence by holding down the shift key again. So it's a different use of the shift key. I've already got one clip selected right at the end. So I'm holding the shift key now and I'm single clicking to select the clip in the middle and I'm still holding the shift key and I'm single clicking to select the clip at the beginning. Remember, selection is really important in Premiere Pro. So whatever you have selected is what you're working on. In this case, my work is to delete the clips. So I'm pressing the delete key and those three clips have gone. I'm going to undo that again. And this time I'm going to go to the Track Select Forward tool and I'll click again here on the Kids Rolling Attire clip and I'll press Delete again. Now I've got a bit of a problem because the Track Select Forward tool actually selects everything on every track from this point forward. So I'm just going to undo and this time I'm going to hold the Shift key again to change the way the Track Select Forward tool works. Now I've got a single arrow. You can just see there without the shift key, I have two with it. I have one. And now if I click, I'm just getting the clips on this track and I can delete them. But you'll notice that even with the shift key held down to change the way the track select forward tool works, I'm still getting the audio for these clips. And those audio clip segments are separate. However, they were recorded with the original media. They were imported into Premiere Pro as part of the same media file. And Premiere Pro knows that. So when you select one part of the clip, the other part is selected as well. And this functionality is actually controlled by a little option at the top of the timeline right here. This is the linked selection mode. If I turn this option off, and now I'm holding the shift key again, so I'm just choosing one track at a time. Now, if I click, I'm just getting the video clips from this point forward on just the video one track. And if I turn linked selection back on again with the shift key held down, I'm getting the audio too. So now I can press the delete key and I've removed those clips and made room for some alternatives. These are some easy ways to remove unwanted clips from your sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro.